everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be unboxing our base boxy charm. I'm so excited that this is here. Um, I haven't gotten my premium yet, so hopefully I will get that soon. Uh, there is supposed to be some really good items in here. And if the spoilers are correct, I think no matter what, it was a Natasha Denona palette. So crossing my fingers because you guys know I love eyeshadow palettes and getting a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette in a boxy charm, oh, that would be awesome. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what we got. So for the month of April, the theme is sweet treats. So it has like a whole bunch of little candies all over it. And then on the back, of course, it tells me all the items. So Ah, uh, okay, I recognize something right away, and it turns out I did get a Natasha Denona palette. Um, I can't even say the name. Oh my gosh, so this is the Ayana palette, and this is a five pan. It's so pretty. I love it. Look at that. Oh, her shadows are always so amazing. Um, I've gotten quite a few of her palettes, mostly when Sephora does their 20% off sale is when I purchase because I do, don't ever want to pay full price because her brand is very expensive. Um, but yeah, let's do a couple swatches. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Pretty, 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 pretty. Feels good. Super soft. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. A little chunky. But that like silverish green shade. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. I cannot wait to do a look with that. It's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like a Like I said, it looks like silver and like with a green tint at the same time. Mmm, gorgeous. All right, so we are definitely starting this box off right. Uh, the next item I have is from Mana Kadar Beauty. Okay, it's a set of two tweezers. One is definitely like a, a traditional tweezer. The other one looks really small and pointed. So... Let's actually just open this up and see what they look like. I'm actually pretty picky about my tweezers. I don't like them to be like too light. Um, I do like them to have some weight to them. So these actually feel really nice. Like I said, you have your typical like slanted tweezer. And then this one is like a pointed tweezer. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. Um, so it says that the slanted tweezer is for precise plucking and the one pointed tweezer to handle isolated uh, single hairs in a large area. So okay, that's cool. Um, I will add this to my little tweezer sets. Moving on, the next item we have is Georgette Cleanser. This is a vitamin C mask. It says it's for all skin types. This is supposed to revitalize, brighten, and even your complexion in minutes with a powerful infusion of vitamin C to protect skin and prevent free radical damage while boosting collagen production. Our clay-based mask draws out impurities, allowing argan and avocado oils to nourish and revitalize your skin. All righty. It says it's supposed to restore youthful tone and texture, improves radiance and clarity, fights signs of aging caused by UV damage, okay, promotes healing and repair, brightens dull and uneven skin, draws impurities from pores, and smooths and firms. That has a lot of claims, but hey. Oh, it says it's made in the USA. That's awesome. Made in the US, cruelty-free, paraben-free, and dye-free. All right, let's see what the packaging inside looks like. It's simple, but cute. I like the pump on that. You see that? That is definitely an interesting pump. 
I am going to have to test this out and see how this works because I'm I'm very curious. Those are some really bold claims and um, I'm down with it if it does it. <laughs> okay, so the next item we have is from, I don't know, Queen, Queen Studios. This is, what is this? A Dragon Last Tubing Mascara. I'm always down to test out new mascara, so that makes me happy. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but all over this mascara tube, there's dragons everywhere on it. <laughs> that is some really cool packaging. Um, now, I, oh, I really want to see what the wand looks like, but I still have some mascaras that I haven't finished. I'm trying to get through. You know what? Screw it. I, I, I'll add this to my collection that I'm using currently. So, oh wow. That's definitely interesting. It kind of reminds me of the, um, the Man Eater mascara wand, only smaller. But it has itty bitty bitty tiny bristles on the top and then longer on the bottom. So, we shall see if this works out. Okay, so I think last but not least, we have the Touch and Soul Icy Sherbet Primer. This is silicone free and it has a cooling effect. So this is supposed to smooth, smooth skin texture, gives you silky and fine tuned finish. Uh, fresh sherbet like texture smoothly guides with rich hydration and an instant cool down effect. Nice. I'm all about blurring primers. I do have a lot of pores that I like to hide. Um, so let's see what this smells like. I know it's supposed to smell like sherbet, but does it really smell like sherbet? Ooh! <laughs> oh, oh god. Oh, that smells... It definitely smells like sherbet. That is so good. Look at the texture of that. That's kind of neat and weird all at the same time. It's like, um... Like a gel kind of that is really interesting let's see what it does for the back of my hand it definitely has that cooling effect I feel that right away oh, it smells so good okay it blurred a little bit not what exactly what I'm used to but I only put a tiny 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 amount so yeah I will definitely have to give this a try and see if this works out for me because I really love blurring primers, so that's awesome. Okay, so let's go over everything and give you a price for the box. So the Natasha Denona palette, of course, is $48. Like I said, Natasha is extremely expensive. We have the Touch and Soul Primer for $32. The Vitamin C Mask for $36. Uh, the Quinn Studio Dragon Lash Mascara for $18 and the um, tweezer set for $18. So my total is $152 for this box. This box is only, what, $25 a month? I'd say that this box is a really good box, especially when it comes to value. I'm pretty happy with this base box. I cannot wait to see what I get at my premium. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you give me a big old thumbs up. Um, I do have a giveaway going on right now if you would like to enter that. I will have the link down below for you guys. And yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.